What's up, my ladies? Welcome back to Back to the Future. The game, episode 3, Citizen Brown. Last episode, we made it here to this similar, familiar place. Um, here, speakeasy of the 1930s. But now, looks like we have a problem, which is everyone here is living in terror. And like, basically, a utopia, basically. And yeah, last episode we kind of like figured out what's going on. There's like this new Citizen Plus program, and basically people are signed up for it, and uh, they can't like be themselves. They have to adapt to all these rules. So I want to see what's up with this chick over here. This used to be our former girl, girlfriend. Actually, hurts. Jennifer, Jen. Let's see what's up. You got a problem? Uh, let's see. You left me stranded. Dang it. This was running such such What's a the good deal, speed. Jennifer? You left me stranded outside the city gates. Yeah, that was pretty rotten, wasn't it? I'm such a horrible role model. Better get away before I corrupt you. Okay, sure, corrupt me. Look, I don't know what you got against me in this timeline, uh, lately, but I'm here to make things right. I've missed you, you know? Take a look at me, Martin. Do I look like the kind of girl that would hang around the president of the Junior Brown Brigade? I don't know what the hell you're talking about, <laughs> but I gotta admit, I kinda like you like this. Oh, uh, Barf? Aww. So sweet. You act like I'm a turnoff, but I don't buy it. We were meant to be together. Look, just because I let you tag along to a couple of concerts doesn't mean we're Romeo and Juliet. I mean, sure, you're a little cute, but you're into all this honor student crap. Honor no, student? Not. And I'm into more interesting things. And guys. No. What interesting guy? Let's find out. You're going out with someone else. I bet I can make you forget him. Sorry, Martin, but you just don't rate anymore. Okay, then let's try so this. Do you one. spend most of your time vandalizing public property? Don't even think about snitching on me unless you want this spray can up your. No, no, listen, you got me wrong. I'm looking to, uh, break a few rules myself. Oh, that's you? what we're supposed to do, right. Um, I'm looking for a dangerous animal. What do you know about harboring dangerous animals? So you met my new boyfriend. Oh, lighten up. I haven't met him, what? Do you know where I could score some forbidden materials? Do I strike you as somebody who would possess illegal substances? Um, yes. Kinda, yeah. And you strike me as somebody who would turn in somebody like me. No. Next topic. Uh... Isn't graffiti a major infraction? You'd think. But after Big Brown had all those buildings coated in that Teflon polymer junk a couple years ago, graffiti's been knocked down to a two-demerit offense. Go no. fig. This ban on public this. displays of affection bites. Hey, you're talking about my yeah. most favorite legal infraction of all. Yeah? Not with you. Ew! No! Alright, let's protest the PDA. This if law against public kissing is a load like of bull, like right? Yeah, this town is full of it. What are you gonna do? Protest! That's what! Let's go stage a public kiss in. Let's not, and say we did. Yeah, sure. Never mind. On second I thought, maybe I don't want to know any more about breaking the rules. Wuss. <laughs> what are you painting? Leech and the whoosh bags. I never heard of them. No, you wouldn't have. They don't play much punk on those smooth jazz stations you listen to. Smooth jazz? I couldn't possibly be that square, even in an alternate timeline. Dang, this guy is really nerdy in this timeline. Give me a can of spray paint. I got an urge to paint something. Happy little trees. Get yourself a watercolor kit. I'm not sharing my wall. She's not even painting anything. I just see the same shit there. What do you think of the other So, me? Jennifer. Uh-huh. What do you think of me? I don't. Oh, crap. Okay. Seriously, what have you got against me? I'm kind of popular, right? Very popular. Among a certain crowd. Ooh, what really? crowd? Dorks. Oh. <laughs> okay, what do you mean by dorks? So, yeah, let's figure it out. Marty McFly a dork? It's impossible. He can't be a dork. 
Okay, anyone who talks about himself in the third person oh, is a Oh my dork. god, this is so funny. Hey, Chaz, my parents are still normal. Let's mom and dad. Out. What about them? Would you say they're normal? By Hill Valley standards, yeah. In other words, they're warped beyond repair. Sorry to be the one to break it to you. Uh, have you checked out Biff lately? Did you get a load of Biff Tannen back there? He's so... Calm. Yeah, creeps me out. You and me both. If that's what the Citizen Plus program's all about, I'll stay a Citizen Minus. Jeez. Um, I have a plan to six Hill. Hill Valley's totally screwed up, but I got a plan to fix everything. Okay. You do, huh? I'm gonna go talk to Citizen Brown and get him to make it all better. That sounds like the kind of plan you'd come up with, weirdo. <laughs> this guy is so idiotic. Citizen Brown is a really great guy. You're wasting your breath, Martin. I don't buy into all that happy talk. No, really. This crazy police state wasn't his idea. It'll all get undone once I have a good talk with him. You know, I almost feel sorry for you. Citizen Plus program? What do you know about the Citizen Plus program? Only what I hear on TV, and the radio, and the newspapers, and the PA systems all over town. They want everybody Sheesh. to enroll, and they say this it'll like make torture. us all happy like and well-adjusted, which is why I'm going to stay clear of it. Okay, I'm off to see Citizen Brown. It won't be long before I see Citizen Brown. Hey, can I come with you? You want to see Citizen Brown too? Yeah. Maybe he can give me a heart when he gives you a brain. Oh. Couldn't hurt to ask. Okay, yeah, actually, it's... Okay. Your paint's starting to streak. Ah! What, what? I don't see any change. Alright. What am I supposed to do here? I don't get it. Huh. I don't want to go digging through the trash unless I absolutely have to. Well, what's over here? I don't want to go digging through the okay, trash. Okay, we already heard this dialogue, bro. Okay, um... Must be where Jen keeps her paints. Locked. Dang it. That sucks. Is this a speakeasy door? Locked. Dang it. This is where the speakeasy was, wasn't it? Brick doorway. They bricked up the entrance to the old speakeasy. No. I liked it. Oh, those crates. That was in, like, the Tannen Hill Valley. Okay, let's get out of here then, because there's probably nothing for us to do anymore. I think... Okay, finally out here. I don't know why my game... Oh! What's that? Look out, son! Oh, it's our freaking... Oh, I'm gonna be Mom? Why can't they drive cars? I don't get it. What's over here? Oh, this is like a lunch hey, shop. can't you read? Oh, it's you, McFly. Leech? Hey, hey, my bad. I should have wrote the sign in Latin, just so you'd understand. What sign? Outway to Unchle. Now eat it, bay, and let me catch some Z's. What? Oh, you gotta be kidding. Free soy dog samples. Take one. No. Hmm. I guess they ran out. How do I do? So now what? Is that her like girlfriend or boyfriend? My bad. I don't even know, but I mean, you gotta help me, dude. What is it now? Okay, nothing. Ah. Oh, what do I do, man? I don't even know. Shit's hard to figure out. Uh, can't figure. Sign? What are soups and more. Wholesome soups, fresh vegetables, and soy based imitation Ew. meats. Good thing I'm not hungry. Okay. I mean, maybe we need to talk to our mom. Oh, this is a freaking electric car? Right? Martin! 
Oh. Hey, hey, Mom. So, what? Are you out here shopping or something? Oh, shopping? <laughs> Who shops anymore? No, it's that time of the month for me again. Uh, for my civic duty. I'll be polishing the statue all day. There you go, oh, man. Oh, right. That is sad. Whose golf cart is that? What's with the golf cart, Mom? Now, Martin, I know you're embarrassed to be driving around in last year's model, but we really can't afford the 86s yet. Uh, what about my truck? <laughs> no one owns a truck in Hill Valley. Martin, are you sure you're feeling okay? Yeah, yeah, I just... I must have had a really vivid dream last night. Well, I hope your dream world was more fun than this one. Could you do me a favor? I forgot to give your father my timesheet for last week, and now Mr. Nosy is convinced that I'm hiding something from him. Timesheet? Aren't they annoying? But Citizen Brown always says, a scheduled life is a happy life. Jeez. Anywho, could you be oh. a dear and drop it off at the house? Okay, Here, so... take the car. Actually, I... I know, uh, I know, dear. Love you, too. I'd give you a kiss, but you know what that gets you. Don't what? forget to pick me up this evening. Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, then. So can we run or no? Yeah, we can run. Okay. Uh, we at least six you right. It's a detailed list of my mom's daily activities. She brushed her teeth for four minutes this morning. What the hell, man? This is like so dang useless. Okay, uh, click on this. Well, it's not the truck, but I guess it'll do. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, his truck is nuts. Holy crap. Hope he still has it somehow. I <laughs> hope he gets it back somehow. The music in this town is so like scary and depressing as well, like jeez. Wow. But yeah, um This guy is uh, also in twelfth grade actually, this main character actually, which is kind of like similar to me. I'm actually graduating tomorrow. Which is pretty exciting. I'm actually very excited about it and um uh, made many good friends through this experience. Actually YouTube is very fun for me to interact with like, what isn't illegal in Hill Valley? Oh, geez, there's some tapes running. Don't worry, nobody can see us here. He's a peeping Tom. He's our dad. Ah. Dad, try to warn your old man the next time, okay? He sounds a lot like Artie. Good morning, Mr. Brown. Like Please address me. Okay, so we need to give this to me. Me as Mrs. Citizen Brown. I'm sorry, Mrs. Citizen Brown. It's just a thing. I, I worked so hard to get that title. Did it? Did it? Did you give it? Um, I saw Mom downtown. She told me to give this to you. All right, there we go. Thanks. Say, uh, what gives around here? Ah, oh, you yeah. know the usual. Keeping tabs on Hill Valley through my trusty bank of monitors. Jeez, Always on the lookout for some interesting footage. Uh, why are you doing this? Or yeah, why are you doing? You're spying on people? Why? What kind of silly question is that? I've been gathering candid documentary footage for Citizen Brown's promotional videos for over a year now. I know your mother doesn't approve of my work, but wait a minute. You say you saw Lorraine? 11 to 12 hair salon, 12 to 12 20 lunch at soup mo counter, cream of asparagus with crackers. What was that? You know your mother's problems. If she slips up again, it could mean demerits for the whole family. Cares, there man. she is, polishing the statue in the park. Just like the schedule dictates. Oh, then everything's fine. Good. Unless... How was she when you spoke to her? Lucid? Sober? Mom's drunk. Whoa, Dad, what are you telling me? Are you saying Mom's a drunk? Shh. I don't know for sure that your mother is relapsed into her old ways, but she's been acting very odd lately, almost as if she didn't like my constant supervision. Yeah, I mean, Confidentially, but... I suspect she's got a flask hidden somewhere, probably very near the spot where she's working right now. Do me a favor, son, will you? See if you can worm the truth out of her. She won't confide in me, but she may be less guarded with you. Double rations this week if you help your old man out. What do you say? 
That's a good boy. Okay, Dad, Thanks, we need to good. talk. So about you and your, uh, work. Shoot. You seem to be really into this spying business. It's not spying, son. It's cinema verite. These that candid moments bro. of Hill Valley's residents will eventually be compiled and edited into the documentaries and promotional materials that advertise our way of life to the rest of the world. True, you can argue that I've taken things to extremes, but I still get up to take my meals and, of course, to use the facilities. Facilities? They don't even You're supposed to be... I mean, wouldn't you rather spend your time writing, say, science fiction novels? Science fiction. I did mess around with that once, but that was before Citizen Brown made it illegal. Are you science kidding? fiction's illegal? Sci-fi promotes an unhealthy obsession with the fantastic and impossible, no. and it encourages the idea that there might be better societies than Hill Valley, which is subversive nonsense, of course. Yeah, this place is so... Okay, impressive. different subject. Yeah? It's about someone we both know, yes? Have you seen Biff lately? Not since he went to the reconditioning center. Is he back among the living? Depends on what you mean by living. He's really different from the way I remember him. Lucky yeah. dog. In a way, it isn't fair that Hill Valley's biggest scofflaw should be the first to receive the benefits of the new Citizens Plus program. But I know I shouldn't be jealous. Yeah, all right, anyway, I think I should just end the episode hmm. off here. Something on your mind? Well, I'll leave you to your snooping. snooping. Supervising, son. Supervising. Oh! Is that what you were trying to hide from me when I showed up? This? This is... Uh... I might as well tell you. After all, you'll be 18 soon. Oh, I'm not 18 Tell me yet. what? Hill Valley under Citizen Brown is not quite the contented town you were led to believe it was. No way. This isn't a criticism of the great man himself, of course, or his sainted wife, Edna. Sainted. No one's worked harder than they to apply the most advanced social planning techniques to our municipality, but... What? Confidentially, not everybody appreciates it. A great many citizens, perhaps even the majority, actively resent the Brown administration. They don't say so publicly, of course. But in private? Well, just listen. Oh, yeah, I want to hear this. I tell you, Bert, this regime is a joke. They're all laughing at us over in Fairfax. Oh. A toast to Citizen Brown. May his beloved courthouse. He's struck by struck lightning. By Did lightning. not get struck by lightning. Shh, you're awful. Are you coming to the town square, Lester? Citizen Brown's about to give another speech. Citizen Brown can kiss my hairy. Well, oh, you get the no. idea. Uh, it sounds like people can't stand what the Browns have done to Hill Valley. Not everyone. Only around 50%, maybe 60. Does Citizen Brown know? He should. Whenever I send copies of my raw footage to the public relations department over at the courthouse, I get a memo telling me how much Citizen Brown thanks me for my service. But how could he see those videos and not do anything about it? Maybe He's you should take your worse. tapes directly to Brown. Oh, I don't know about that. I mean, sure, he might appreciate my bringing these problems to his attention and reward me for my public service, but then again, they say it's never wise to be the bearer of bad news. I'll leave you to it. Right. Other day in Hill Valley. Alright, looks like the game's there, so yeah. Alright, so what's interesting to learn about all these uh, secret tapes, the next time we'll, start, we'll talk to George a little bit more about how he can break some rules and stuff like that. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this episode. See you guys in the next one. And yeah, we will get out of this. We got out of freaking alternate Biff, freaking paradise, and. Uh, the the West and the future. So yeah, we will get out of this. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Goodbye.